If you have a working breed dog like a Border Collie or German Shepherd, or if you just have a high energy dog in general, the best thing you can do for them is to give them a job. Especially dogs like Border Collies that were bred to herd as a job are the perfect dogs to teach a job to, to satisfy that willingness to work. But not all of us can live on a farm with sheep to herd, so we have to get creative. Let's get into how to teach your dog to clean up their toys, a challenging and super fun job to teach your dog. First, you wanna establish where your dog should put their toys when cleaning up. For us, it's a toy basket that has all of Mochi's toys in it. Be sure to pick something with clear boundaries like a box or a drawer because this makes the task very clear. Once you've chosen your toy location, just let your dog sniff around the box and get used to it. If your dog tends to be fearful like Mochi, this step is important because having them comfortable with where they're gonna drop their toys is super essential. Once your dog seems to be accustomed to the box, start doing some nose and mouth targeting inside the box. To do this, put a treat into the box and let your dog get it. You don't need to say any cues or anything here, you just want your dog to practice the movement of putting his head into the box. Once your dog gets the treat, throw a treat on the floor outside the box and then repeat with a treat inside the box so that he's going in and out. Keep doing this step a few times. Once your dog seems to be good with that step, try skipping the part where you put a treat inside the box and only throw the one outside the box. Wait for him to put the nose and mouth into the box and the moment he does, mark and reward by throwing the treat on the floor again. Repeat. Now that your dog is comfortable with this motion, get the actual toys involved. Choose one toy that your dog loves to play with and throw it on the ground near the box and tell him to go get it. If your dog doesn't understand the concept of fetching and retrieving a toy, you'll need to teach that first. Once your dog gets the toy, encourage your dog to put his head over the box and drop it. Again, if your dog doesn't know the drop it command, go teach that and come back once they know it and you could teach that in just a few seconds. When trying to position your dog over the toy box before dropping it, you can either move the box to go right under his head or you can even play a little tug of war and pull him towards you so that he's on top of the box or you can lure him towards the box with a really excited tone and hand motions like I'm doing here. For Mochi, he gets scared if I move the toy box so as you can see, I'm excitedly encouraging him to come towards the box and then saying drop it once he's above it. Once they drop it into the box, immediately mark and reward. The reward can really be that you throw the toy again if your dog is toy motivated, but you can also give treats like I'm doing. Keep doing this multiple times and once your dog is reliably putting the toy into the box, change the drop it command to something like clean up. Keep practicing this step over several sessions because it takes a bit for it to click in your dog's head that this is the task. Also, start timing the command of clean up so that you actually say it before they go get the toy. As your dog gets better and better, try leaving the toy stationary on the ground so it's not moving and telling your dog to clean up rather than throwing it. If your dog can do that, that means he really understands this concept of cleaning up and it's not just that he's playing fetch and dropping it for you. Also, remember to alternate the toys once your dog can do it with his favorite one because dogs tend to anchor a command to really specific contexts and situations, so even if he knows clean up with one toy, he might not get that he does it with others too. Here with Mochi, I'm using his white paw toy, which is one of his favorites, as well as his orange ball to switch things up, and I also alternate other toys in there. Finally, you can attempt to leave several toys outside of the box and saying clean up so that your dog cleans up all the toys on his own. Again, this is gonna take several training sessions for your dog to be able to do that, but it's gonna be so worth it because this is such a good job for your dog to feel fulfilled. Now that your dog is a pro at cleaning, make sure to check out the video linked here on the screen for two indoor scent work games that exhausts your dog by using their nose. 